best estimates indicate that about a third of Americans who are overweight or obese have some form of disordered eating. So the first thing that stands out for me is that two-thirds of Americans who are overweight or obese are not overweight or obese because of disordered eating. They're overweight for other reasons. There are medical reasons, genetic reasons, lifestyle and cultural reasons, and food myths. There are a lot of, there's a lot of misinformation out there about healthy nutrition driven in part by advertising in an attempt to sell products. So most people who are overweight or obese, it's important to realize, don't have disordered eating or eating disorders, but about a third do. And the interesting thing is that for people who are overweight or obese, the prescription typically is a diet. Their loved ones tell them to diet, their health care providers tell them to diet, but diets don't work. 98% of the time, diets fail. People who diet will gain the weight back, and they'll be worse off than when they began. A new approach is needed for these individuals. And the great news is that the healthcare community is beginning to embrace a new approach, something called the healthy at every size approach. You can find a lot of information about this on the internet, and it's strongly recommended as a new way of dealing with overweight and obesity. Um, it's the alternative to diets.